Hello, my name is Joseph Carlson, and this is episode 226 of Gaming with Grief. And I'm calling this episode The Grief of Starfield because Starfield is what everybody is talking about. Now, before I get going, this obviously game, this game just came out. It's from Bethesda Softworks or Bethesda Studios in Bethesda, Maryland. Uh, I don't I know how long it was in development, but it came out and I had to give it a shot. I had to try it and see if I liked it for myself. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, Joe, why are you covering Starfield? Here's the deal. I heard about in some of the review process and stuff like that that there is a new trait called Kid Stuff. Uh, well, anyway, there's a way to meet your parents, and it's called Kid Stuff. I played the game. I have Game Pass, so I had access to Starfield on Xbox Series X. I played it that way, and I picked Kid Stuff, meaning you get to meet your parents. So what they do is they probably procedurally generate. They look at the way you look in the game, and then they make your parents based off that. Um, I would like to see, though, if they... Uh, would make, like, if you made a very old character for your parents would be, you know, older than old. I don't know. But, you know, obviously this podcast being about grief, loss, stuff like that. Both my parents have passed away. My dad passed away uh, in May of 2016. My mom passed away in June of uh, 2019. So I wanted to see what their version of digital parents was. Now, I'm not delusional, you know. I don't want to live vicariously through a video game. But like I do with everything when I try to review this stuff, you know, did it say something unique or interesting or just give a little something like a like a unique take or have a different perspective on parents? Were they too milk toast? The answer is yes, but I found myself playing it. And I'll tell you this, I only visited them once. Apparently you can visit them many more times, but I only did it once for the sake of this podcast. Um, I found the game, I mean, I, I have been doing more like mechanical reviews of like I didn't like this mechanic I like that Starfield has way too many menus and so navigating between menus was frustrating I probably won't continue with the game um, I only played for a few hours enough to meet my parents for the first time um, but after the first visit you know you do like story stuff you meet people at Constellation and you, then like and then just a random quest pops up says go meet your parents they're in the tower over there in the apartment complex and what I like is about the background is you actually have the ability to um, give them money. So if you pick this, you send money home all the time. Like, it's not much. It's like 2% of what you have every... There's like an in-game clock or something, which I thought was pretty interesting. But uh, they actually bring it up when you meet them. When, yes, my father and mother do look like me, which is great. Um, you... Um, you tell, obviously, your parents that you were promoted to this, uh, the Organization of Constellation to be like explorers. Your mom is over the moon that you were promoted. She's very excited. She also wants to know if you're seeing anybody. You know, I don't even know if that's like, you know, she said, are you seeing anybody? What's really great is you can really play down the promotion to both your parents. I go, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to stick with it or whatever. But, you know, maybe we'll see where it goes. Your dad's retired. Uh, you know, he's been a teacher for a long time. He's just trying to get out there. Mom's been bugging him for years to go on vacation. They're finally going to do it. Is this stuff a stereotype? Yes. Did it warm my heart to go home? And even it's digital again. I'm not delusional. Just to have the same conversations that my parents would have. My parents are divorced, but there's always talk of some kind of vacation or relaxing. My dad was getting up there. He was in construction. It was hard for him to do what he did. He woke up early every morning and... You know, uh, he was debating whether to retire or not. My mom was getting to be that age. She only worked part-time. She wanted to work more. It's all that kind of stuff. It's kind of in this game. My mom would always bother me. Are you seeing anybody? You know, are, do you, what about kids? Stuff like that. And, 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 and uh, my wife actually sat here with me when we played it. And it just, I was like, this is nice, you know. Um, and they both bring up. They're very thankful. They bring up the fact that you, um, you... Uh, have to bring money home. And that is, uh, it's crazy to them that, you know, they, they, they're, they sorry, I was adjusting an audio level. Um, but they're both over the moon that you're sending them money, that you, uh, and you, you can actually uh, back out of the deal and go, you know, which is weird because it's your parents. You're like, I don't really know if this is working out. I don't know if I could send money home. And then there's a, a little parentheses down below that says, if you pick this, it will remove the kid stuff um, trait from your background. So, like, you won't see your parents again. You won't probably interact with them, um, which I thought was crazy, you know, um, that you're just like, you know what? 
I mean, I'm sure, of course, in the history of time, there's bad kids out there. They're like, I don't want to talk to those people anymore, you know, especially like I mentioned a lot of this podcast. If you're in a bad relationship, who wants to go see bad parents? You don't. But in this game, one thing that I thought was really sucked was I tried to raid the fridge because every kid, when you come home, you're like, well, uh, I couldn't interact with the washing machine. I don't think I tried. Couldn't do laundry. Come on. Got to do laundry, got to raid the fridge. Couldn't get into the fridge, but what I did is they had fruit on the table. Took all that, because you know what? That's what you do when you're home. You take the fruit. Uh, took the tea bags, took some coffee. Really upset couldn't get into the fridge. I really wanted to see, because I do like the, pa- the one thing I did like about Starfield is the packaging of all the food, you know, like the, whatever. There's like instant noodles and all this weird stuff. That was pretty dope. If uh i could have raided my parents fridge i would have done it i would have just ripped them off of all their food again wanted to do laundry i did get my old school backpack though that was pretty cool it's actually a pretty cool backpack which i put my spacesuit on went on space exploration later and i freaking <laughs> sorry this is funny i have like this incredibly nasa punk theme spacesuit that's big and bulky and then i have my high school backpack on i don't know how that works in zero zero g but it was pretty funny and uh, I just was like, what is happening here? So dad's retiring, really wants to get, you know, maybe hit the links a little bit. But he just can't, you can't get him out of the classroom. You know, he's just been doing it a long time. And he's just not going to budge. He's not going to change. It's just so hard to just slow down. Um, your parents do mention how expensive everything is in the city that you're in, too. Where they're there in uh, New Atlantis. Which I thought was crazy, which... At that moment, I would have liked a dialogue option because I actually had some money. I could have been like, do you need some cash? You know, do you need some cash right now? And they're like, but they do mention like, no, this stuff you're, uh, you know, sending home, that's helping us out so much. And so that was pretty cool that I was able to help my parents out. I'm trying to think, I hear later if you meet them, you meet them at like a petting zoo and they give you, um, you know, some weapons. They give you a pistol apparently, which is, I guess not that crazy. I mean, I got my mom's pistol. She passed away. I got a pistol from her. But uh, it's weird for both your very alive parents to be like, do you need a gun? Which I guess if you're exploring space, you do need a gun because I've shot some pirates already. Um, You know, again, is this weird? I keep bringing this episode up. In fact, I think I'm going to look it up right here Um, because I have my website up here, which is very uh, not, uh, you know, professional. But I keep bringing up the cyberpunk episode, which I might go back and revisit that game because they're they're doing a, the Phantom Liberty expansion is coming out and they're doing a lot of free updates to the main game. Um, since I bought the game, it, it was very buggy for me. I did the eulogy for one of the characters that died in that where I've talked before several times about crafting eulogy. There's this really weird slice of life stuff in games that I like when they can do that. Say like, well, craft a eulogy. Like, can we make parents fun? You know, I found a lot of the kind of Bethesda, behind the eyes, characters looking at me when the camera zooms in, they still don't look right. And I've noticed this Skyrim, all that, they didn't look right, I guess. And now, even with Starfield, they don't look right. Um, But just love the fact that I got to spend some time with my parents. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, Oh, yeah. Um, She, my mother you know, said, you know, do, do, are you seeing anybody? Now, I don't know if this is misdirection on my parents' part because my mom's saying that my dad's the one who wants grandkids, but is she the one? She's like, he really wants to be a grandpa. Now, is that happening or is she just saying that to throw him under the, you know, it's all parent politics. You know, you'll hear from an, I'll probably run into a cousin in space. It'll be like, they totally lied to you, man. It's not what they're doing is they both want to be grandparents. I don't know. That was very good. It was cool. You could look at some awards you get in your room. Uh, and yeah, it was pretty, my room was pretty dirty too, which uh, I think your mother says that when you come in. It's like, it's just exactly how you left it. Um, again, this is all stereotypical stuff, but it was really good and it warmed my heart. Even my wife was chuckling when they said, you know, are you going to have any kids? And my wife was like, that's exactly, you know, your mom would say that to us. But when we were dating, like, hey, are you going to have any, I want some grandkids. Um, so, is Starfield uh, an amazing 10 out of 10 game? Uh, no. But this part was really good, and it just gave me a little bit of the feels to hang out with my digital parents for a couple minutes and have the same 
<laughs> the same kind of uh, conversations I've had with my real life parents. You know, are you going to go on vacation? Are you going to retire? No, I'm not working on grandkids. I don't know if I should say anything. If I'm seeing anybody, you could play that cool too. I liked all that. Anyway, um, shorter episode this week. But Starfield, the Starfield parents, 10 out of 10 about the game. 10 out of 10. Thank you, Bethesda, for at least like making me you know, hang out with my parents for a bit. And uh, yeah, that's it this week. Uh, I want to remind everybody, have a good week, and I will talk to you guys again next week. If you like what you're seeing and hearing, please consider subscribing to the podcast. You can go to either Apple iTunes, the Google Play Store, Spotify, or Amazon Music in the podcast section. It'll hit Monday morning or Sunday afternoon, depending on when it posts. And the video will hit on YouTube and Spotify Monday. Spotify will hit Monday evening and YouTube, it'll hit Monday morning, 7 a.m., just like it does for the audio services. So please go to those places and consider subscribing or listening to the show. You can also write to me at gwgpodfellows at gmail.com if you want to write me a letter, let me know what you think of the show, things like that. Or you can also find me on Twitter at Just Little Joe. So go to those places and please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks.